Hi, in this session, we'll be uh, talking about one of the categories of function uh, that is no return type and no arguments. And we will take a simple example of uh, addition of two numbers. Right. So let us declare first one function. Since we said there is no kind of return term we that void, let us uh, make the name of the function that is uh, add underscore two. So that is add underscore two here prints and no arguments, right? So that is the function declaration. So this is the function declaration, right? Again, I'm repeating. So we have no return type, that is void. We give the name of the function add underscore two. And since we have no arguments, it's simply this one. So inside the main, we just simply, we will make uh, the function call the score TW02. Okay. Yes. Fine. So let us do the definition. So void add underscore two. Okay. So open bracket, close bracket. So let us me declare two variables. Let this num one integer variable, num two. Okay. Uh, let me write printf, you know, enter the first number yes then i write scan f percentage d then ampersand num one okay then print f enter the second number And scan f percent is d and percent num two. Right. So now we have to add these two numbers, then you have to display. That's why we add another variable which is I add sum. Okay. So here I write sum equal to num one plus num two. Right. And then I write print as the sum of the two numbers is percentage D, then comma S U M. Right? So here I have completely written the code for adding two numbers. If you remember, the same thing we have we would have put this inside this main. Previously, whatever, you know, from addition of two numbers we have done, we are putting this same thing inside this main. Now, what we are doing is that we have created a function. So, now we can make, you know, uh, of this particular execution of this more than one time, okay, by using this particular uh, function call itself. Okay? Since this is no return type and no arguments, so we don't have any return type and we have no arguments. Okay, let me execute it. So let me save it, execute. Okay, let me put the first number, let's say 21. Next number is say uh, 39. So we have the sum of the number is 60. So we get this. Enter the first number 21, enter the second number 39, and sum of the two numbers is 60. Right? So now let me tell you what again. Like, let me make it another function call. Yes, another function call. You yeah, will understand. So now again, I save it and I execute. Tell me how many times we will see this particular printf statements. Yes, it will be two times, right? See, first I gave one. So let me give the same value twenty nine, and that is thirty nine. So I get the sum of the two numbers in. Then again, you know, enter the first number. So again, I enter 34, right? And I enter, suppose, the 76. So it will give me 110. So 110. Right, now you can understand also with this that how function call is, you know, uh, how this function actually is helping you with, rather than putting in the, you know, main. Since if, uh, if you require in a problem that each time you require to have this particular set of, 
instruction to be executed that is nothing but sum of the two numbers so we can put it inside a function and then we can easily execute it okay so that's the uh, the category on the function no return type and no arguments let me again summarize the things we have this function declaration since we don't have any kind of return type and no arguments nothing is there i give the number as you know add underscore two then i make the function call simple function call and in the declaration i have initialized two variables num1 and num2 then i have made another variable sum where i'm storing the addition of these two numbers then i return a printf statement uh, print the first number then i'm storing in num1 second number storing in num2 then i'm adding it sum equal to num1 and num2 then i'm printing it the two numbers the sum of the two numbers right very simple thank you so much